The purpose of this show, the of this show is, to guide you to realign is to guide you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Yule. This is the habit-based lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this, this is the habit-based lifestyle. Let's go. This is going to be all about dating our kids, but my special guest is my nine-year-old daughter, Julia. Say hi. Hi. Uh, so she's been bugging me uh, for <laughs> a few weeks. How long? Um, I'd say about maybe two to three weeks. About getting on my podcast and... Uh, she wants to share a special message today, so um, thanks for being on here. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, no. well, we'll start there then. We, we don't know. So uh, I wanted to bring you on today to talk about uh, your favorite things uh, that you get to do with dad. Uh, and, um, you know, so let's get started. What is one of your favorite things to do with dad? Um, let's see. I like to hang out with him. We like to go out to dinner. We'll hang out. Like, we'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll have fun. We'll go to dinner. We'll have some fun. We'll okay, go so where's places. your favorite place to go out to dinner? Um, I think we actually went there yesterday. It's Red Robin. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, Red Robin is your favorite <laughs> place. Cause for dinner because their uh, macaroni is because so their macaroni and cheese is the bomb to you right yeah it's bomb uh bomb diggity bum, 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 bum. so um your favorite thing to do is to go out to dinner to uh red robin what are some other things that you like to do at dad um i like to Let's see. I like to hang out with him, go places with him. Yeah, can you be specific? Um, let's see, like circus tricks. Okay, circus tricks is like a uh, trampoline park, uh, kind of like trampoline park meets American Ninja Warrior, if you don't know what that is. American uh, Ninja Warrior for kids. Yeah, so circus tricks is a place that we go and uh, we get to jump around. What are some other places? Um, let's see. We've gone to Dave and Buster's Disneyland. Dave and Buster's Disneyland. Yeah. What else? Um, I always, whenever I'm on video, I always forget. Okay. Well, sometimes that happens. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Sometimes I forget too. So uh, I'm going to give you a little exercise to do. Okay. Because sometimes, you know, when you think you're on camera, uh, you know, you kind of, you know, don't remember quite as much. Is that what's yeah. kind of what's happening? Okay. So I'll, I'm going to give you a little exercise to just take a deep breath and breathe out well, and sorry. just pretend that that camera up there is not on. It's not on. And you are actually speaking to yourself. Uh, that's a little weird, but okay. Okay. So maybe you're just talking to one of your friends. So pretend that's one of your friends. Okay. Hi. And you're hi. looking in the camera and it's just me and you having a normal conversation. How about that? Okay. So what are some things that you like to do? Uh, we see you got your, your, uh, cheerleading, uh, sweatshirt on, but like what, what got you into cheerleading? Um, I think my cousin McKenna kind of gave me the idea of it and my and she was a cheerleader um so you kind of look up to her and you're like I think yeah. I want to do that too yeah so what is it so so what your cousin McKenna is older she just graduated high school so she's someone you look up to yeah yeah and so you know sometimes when we look up to people we like to do what they do. Do what they've done or do what they do. Yeah. Sometimes that's what happens uh, with mom and dad also is you watch things that we do 
and then you do them. I'm like, I want to do it. Yeah. So what are, what are some things you look up to mom and dad for? Um, I look up to mom. Uh, I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I want to be as clean as her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mom's pretty clean, isn't she? Yeah. What are some other things that you look up to mom for? Um, she's kind of like, she's kind of like, I don't know how to say it. She's like my sibling in a way. Oh, like she's, you can trust her. Yeah. So you, mom's, you like how trusting mom is. Yeah. And you can tell her anything. Yeah. Yeah, mom, mom's pretty easy to talk to, isn't she? Mm-hmm. So what are some other uh, things you look up to mom about? Um, I look up to her because she's very kind, loving, sweet, and I just want to be just like her. You want to be just like mom. Well, maybe we should have named you Mom Junior. I mean, Katie Junior. Mom Junior. Let's say Katie Junior. Sometimes I think uh, you think you're Mom Junior. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. So what are some ways you look up to dad? Um, I looked up to, uh, bleh. I look up to my dad because he's, um, always, uh, he's like always, um, how should I say this? He's always funny and always like when I'm sad, he's not just going to be like, are you okay? He's kind of like checking on me, making sure I'm fine, telling me to talk about it and stuff. So you like how dad tells you to, or asks you to talk about what's wrong with you or what, yeah, how you're feeling? I'm not saying mom does this and I'm not saying, but like when I talk about dad to something, he's not just like, oh, okay. He's more of like, he's like, so he's more of like, he's like, okay, tell me about like the full story and like what happened and stuff. And he kind of just tells me to explain it and how to get, like, how to not feel that way or, like, when I'm scared. I remember I was rock climbing at um, Lifetime. Oh, yeah. And I got scared because I was halfway there, and I looked down, and my dad was right there, and I just started getting scared, and I stopped. I was like, Dad, 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 I want to get down, I want to get down, but that's not how you face your fears. And my dad was like, you face your fears by keep on going. And what I, he said, what I always do is I stop and I take a breath. And then when I'm ready, I keep going. But if you're not going to face your fear, if you just stop and I'm like, get down. And that's also happened with cheer. Um, let's see. I was scared of flying because we were doing a quarter turn up. So we started on that side low and then we go up to prep. And I was scared to do it. And so uh, I talked to my dad and my mom about it. And they're like, just try it and stuff. And so I talked to the coach. And she was like, oh, you don't have to do it this practice. And yeah. So dad kind of coaches you through times when you feel fear. Yeah. And you like that. Yeah. So what are some other things? Um, oh, no. <laughs> I know what he's thinking. Okay, so... We were on a trail once, and this guy came up to us, and he was like, watch out, there's a snake ahead on the mail train trail. Ugh, I have lost my words today. But, um, and I just started getting a bunch of thoughts in my head and stuff like that. I've, um, so I get a lot of thoughts in my head once I say, like, I hear someone say it or something happens, and I don't just pass by and be like, oh, whatever, can we go on a different trail? I kind of get a lot of thoughts of like what ifs and stuff like that. So and you then, get a lot of worry. Yeah. And a lot of fear creeps in. Yeah. And anxiety. Mm-hmm. And, and so when you go to that place. Then it makes it worse. And sometimes dad does what? He, he coaches me through. He's like, what are you scared of? And yeah. And so we went hiking yeah. One time. Mm. And you got really scared. Yes, I did. I screamed, I want to go back the whole time we were on the rest of the hike. Yeah. you. And we weren't even on the main trail. And I said, we're on the main trail. I want to go back. So what was the lesson you learned from that? That don't be like, 
um, we went on the complete opposite trail, and when I was up there, and my dad was like, oh, let's, okay, fine, we'll turn around. And then once I, once we turned around, I was like, oh, I want to keep going, but we just kept on walking back, and I wanted to keep going, but yeah. Yeah, well, maybe the, maybe the bigger lesson was is just because someone else tells you something is ahead or like there's some fear ahead doesn't mean that we have to actually believe what that person says yes that is true and sometimes by us believing it without seeing it ourselves it actually lets fear get in the way of us taking that step forward or like that day was just taking the step forward towards the mountain yeah and i hate snakes probably more than you do uh, so the last thing I want to do is come head to head with the snake. So yeah. S- that's right. So yeah. So what are some things that you don't like that mom does? Um, I hate it when she comes in my room and like I want to be clean and stuff, but when my room's a mess, she comes in my room and starts grabbing stuff that's out of place and puts it on the floor. Yeah, mom doesn't tolerate having dirty, dirty stuff or sometimes when you hide your wrappers or your dirty clothes in baskets or clothes that's clean because i don't want to hang them up right what are some things you don't like that dad does um well it makes me better and stuff after it but he um so like the snake he kept on just going and listening to me he just kept on going and not really listening yeah which kind of drives you more crazy and when he's on his phone and I ask him something like, Dad, and he's just still staring. And I'm like, Dad. I keep going, Dad, 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 Dad. Dad does a pretty good job of blocking you out sometimes, doesn't he? Yeah. When you're asking lots of questions. So there's, there's lots of dad listeners out here and lots of mom listeners on, on this podcast. Like mommy? Well, mom, like other moms or other dads. But does mommy watch my podcast? Of course, mommy will watch this podcast. She'll probably be proud of you for saying how all the things that you love about mom. Okay. Uh, But what are some things that you would tell other parents about their kids and like dating them? How important that is? Um, It's really important because it's kind of, so when you're with, Let's say you when you're ha- when you have a sibling because I have two siblings, you kind of after a while you get tired of them and stuff. And what helps is when your mom or your dad is like, "Oh, you want to go on a one-on-one date?" And you're like, "Really? Yay!" And it's really fun to kind of have one-on-one time because when you're with a sibling, for instance, Jocelyn. Uh, Who's your younger sister? Who's three? Yes, Jocelyn is three. And let's say we wanted to go to K1 Speed, which is a place where you do, what is it called? Go-karts. Yeah, go-kart racing. And when you're with both your siblings, you can't go there because she's too little. But when you're with your older sibling, um, he can be a bit annoying. (laughs) Uh, That would be your brother. Yeah. So... It's really important for you as the kid to have one-on-one time with me and mom uh, to be able to do a date that you want to do that's just one-on-one me and you. Kind of like right now, this is uh, something you've really been looking forward to. Uh, and, And now that we're doing it, look how much fun we're having. Yeah, and when you have one-on-one time with your parents, it makes you feel like you're just, like, you get so excited and stuff, and it's nice to have a break from your siblings and have one-on-one time and just kind of talk about things and stuff. Yeah, so... And you can go to, like, K1 Speed because... You can Jocelyn. go to a little bit older places uh, than, you know, having to take your little sister. So so you get yeah. kind of a special treatment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So what's a lesson that you could give parents today... Uh, with their kids? Um, I think I could give, uh, I'd say that you should always make sure, like, 
my parents, if I look sad, they don't just walk by and not say anything. They stop and they take time to ask me what's wrong and stuff like that. Or if I'm mad or anything, they won't just walk by. They'll come by and stuff. And also, um, I remember on Christmas Eve, we were running around everywhere and stuff. And I I pulled aside my um, my mom was noticing that I was feeling a little bit sad. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I feel like you guys don't have any more enough time for me anymore, but that's not possible. Um, and so she's like, oh yeah, you wanna um, hang out and stuff? Uh, you can read a book that we were gonna read tonight. Do you wanna read The Night Before Christmas? And I was like, yeah, sure. And that just made me feel much better and stuff. And yeah, one-on-one -on -one time is really fun and stuff. And when you get to do stuff that you've wanted to do, so one-on-one -on -one time is really important. And then also your parents checking in with you just to see how you're doing, if you have other siblings, and just making you feel like your importance is really important also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there uh, anything you have out there for the kids? Um, Any lessons for the kids? Just have fun and be kind and, yeah. Okay, have fun and, and be kind. And tell your parents if you're feeling sad or mad or happy or not happy but like sad mad if you know. feel alone how about that yeah or scared yeah so instead of hiding or holding all those things in you it's, could get them out yeah and you can get them out by what what are some ways that you get them out my dad tells me to write down stuff to kind of get them out and when i think of them again i can just look at the paper and just remember um it's fine yeah it's just in your head yeah it's just stories in your head and you want to get the stories out of your head before you go to bed yeah because i before i go to bed i always get thoughts of like what if this what if that what if that yeah we kind of had that a couple weeks ago when we had the earthquake right you remember yes. that yeah i do and you know you worked on it and it you helped know, me. It helped you. Maybe not so much the first night, but uh, definitely the second night. But, you know, we want, like, you want to learn to get the stories out of your head, whether you're, you know, nine years old or 41 years old. Uh, you want to get the stories out of your head before you go to bed because uh, if they're out of your head, then you sleep much better, right? Yes. Instead of worrying about that stuff all night. Okay, so... Uh, that's it for your first podcast. I'd say you did pretty awesome. Was uh, that fun? Yes, really fun. Is I want to do it again. Is there any questions you want to ask me? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Wait, I have one question. Okay. When will this be posted? Uh, it'll be posted and when it gets posted, probably in about uh, a week and a half, two weeks. Um, and also, what was I going to say? Okay, so thank you for being on here. Oh, I know. What? Can I do another podcast with you? Yeah, we'll see if, uh, you know, we can make this a regular thing. So high five for the podcast. Okay, so thank you for being on here. Thank you for listening. And if you are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle, maybe you have some questions, comments, or requests, or maybe you want to request my daughter, Julie, on here, another episode, feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Also coming up in September, we have our marriage boot camp here in Dana Point, California. We are only taking five couples. Uh, on this experience and we already have two spots filled up. So we have three spots left. If you are looking to be one of the next people, email me jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com and apply to the marriage boot camp, which is in the show notes. And you can simply click on the link and find out then the exact dates. Until next episode, have an awesome day. Woo! The purpose of this show. The purpose of this show is to guide you to realign, you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.